else thinks my car needs to be louder? Who else thinks I need some new teeps? Who else thinks I need a catback exhaust? Alright guys, you've officially made it to the video. I know that little intro, cold start action. I was hoping all you guys at home would say, cold start! Today's video is going to be very interesting. It involves this. And if you've seen the title, you probably know exactly what it's about because I titled my videos exactly what the video is about. I want to do something first though. This is my garage gym that many of you probably don't know about. I used to work out in here all the time and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I kind of fell off track so I'm gonna try to get back into that right now. It's very hard to get back into the gym after not being in there for a while because I know my strength isn't gonna be there. If you guys haven't known, I competed in a powerlifting competition last February. So that was about nine months ago or eight months ago at this point and I squatted 358, paused bench 265 and deadlifted 452 all on the same day at that meet. And that's what I really liked before doing the whole car thing. Um, I was a power lifter. I liked training in the powerlifting style. I wouldn't necessarily call myself a power lifter. So I'm gonna get into working out right now. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of it. I'm not gonna go deep into it. Um, this isn't a lifting channel by any means, but I'll show you guys a little bit because I do show my life. And then after, we can have some fun with this. Basically, this video is gonna be a day in the life. I got a really busy day, so it might as well bring you all along with me. And I got something very exciting to do with the tune, which is cool. Also, I'm wearing my Tuner Crate shirt always. I always wear these shirts. So if you want to check out Tuner Crate, link in the description for 20% off their product. You can get three shirts for $40. It's a killer deal, along with some other stuff sent to you every month for $40. Less than that. And you can get stuff for cheaper. So if you want to check it out, go for it. Link in the description. Let the video start now. I'm going to give you guys one tip. What I see too much is when people go in the gym and they actually don't even stretch out and they just go straight into lifting, that's like not okay. That's You're injury prone at that point. You remember when you were in PE or in sports back in the day? You wouldn't do stuff until you stretched out. Same applies here. Stretch out. It was a good first workout back. Um, what you guys didn't see is I did some tricep push downs. And I called it there. It's a very short workout, very easy workout. I didn't want to overwork myself for the first time coming back in. I'm going to be very sore as is tomorrow just because of what I've done. Um, I only benched 135 for flat and incline, which is very light for me. And it seemed like that in the video. I wish I could wash this car, but I seriously just don't have time. Well, I always clean this. I make sure this is wax all the time, but yeah, it's dirty. You can't really tell, but it's dirty. At least in my standards, it's dirty. Usually I don't let it go that far. Okay guys, I haven't talked to you guys in about an hour and a half now, so I just wanted to catch you up with everything I'm doing. Right now I'm editing the video. This video is the autocross video from a couple days ago. Camera isn't the best focusing camera, but it's a good camera. Several hours has gone by. I went to go get some food, eat, then I came back, started working on a video. I actually edit Throttle's videos, which is actually pretty cool. The web engine Throttle. Um, I actually just partnered up with them as well. So now I have a link for you guys to go and sign up for free. There's also other kinds of signups too where you can add money to it. Um, but you don't need to do that. There's free signups. And what essentially Throttle is, is a website engine search where you can put up your cars for sale online for anyone to see across the world. It's essentially like Craigslist, but it's better because anyone can see it. It's not just like one one city or whatever. Anyone can buy car parts from anywhere. It's made for enthusiasts, car enthusiasts, that you can sell quality parts that you know you're getting from a car guy that knows it's, it's been taken care of well. So it's a really cool website. I want you guys to go over there and actually sign up. It's completely free. Go sign up. Show some love over there to my guys. I will have a link in the description of this video. It's a really cool opportunity for you guys. It's not going to be free forever, so sign up while you can. Honestly, sell your used parts. I know I have a ton of used parts I'm also going to sell. I have an intake, a turbo inlet pipe, um, other, other stock things. I stock down pipe. I'm just going to sell it because the parts are perfectly fine. And if people need it, like then, I mean, I'd, I'd be down to make a couple dollars on something that would cost a lot more money on. Um, buying it brand new for someone that just wants a stock intake. It costs them $10 for me opposed to $100 from a shop. 
With making your account, you can also go look at what other people post so you can buy as well. So you don't need to just sell things on there. To when you make an account, you can look at other stuff as well and buy. Doesn't that look tight? Posters coming soon. So do you guys like that poster? That's one of possible three I might do. And here's the thing, I'm gonna do one of the posters. With that throttle website we were just talking about, I have an idea for a giveaway. So if you guys do what I want, I'll do what you guys want. I want you guys to sign up on that link just because it's such a cool site. Like it, it's, it is very interesting. And if you use my link while you sign up with it, I'm gonna do a giveaway with the, with the names that are in that link, meaning if you sign up with the link. It could be a free account, it could be a paid account, it doesn't matter. If you sign up with it, your name is gonna be in the drawing and I'm gonna pick three people just to give out a poster for free for. Did you hear that? I'm gonna pick three people out of whoever signs up and I'm gonna give you a poster for free, I'll ship it to you for free, I'll sign it if you want me to, I'll write whatever you want me on it. So sign up, okay? That's, I'm, I'm literally giving this to you guys. So take the chance, sign up on throttle.com with my link and I'll get you guys a poster. So I have a dilemma. About a month ago, I posted on my Instagram saying I'm gonna get on E85, so I picked up E85. There is a five gallon can right here that is full of ethanol 85. Now here's my problem. It's been sitting for about a month. Duh, so does the grade of the gasoline go down, like the octane level go down? I've been told that it's been sitting for long enough to where you probably shouldn't be putting it in your car. And I don't want to hurt the engine in any way, especially because I just got it rack and running. Oh, there goes the GTR. <laughs> but here's the thing, I don't live super close to an E85 station, so I got those five, three five gallon gas cans. I want to fill up them so I don't have to go there and back every single time I fill up on E85. Can someone tell me in the description below how long I can keep E85 in my garage in those gas cans. I'm hoping to see that that's okay, but for right now I'm gonna go to the E85 station. It's actually near my school, I've been told. I've never actually been to this station before, and I'm gonna fill up at least one of those cans, and we're gonna get some in the car. So let's do that right now. We have made it to the station. I gotta do this fast because school is really soon. So I got nine gallons in total, I got four in the car, and then this is just done, it just flashed the map. So technically I'm on E30 right now. It's not considered E85 because it is a mix between the two gases. And now it's time to go to college. I'll catch up with you guys when I get back. Gold star. First gold star with the 85. <laughs> I'm gonna do a review of the E85 in a couple weeks when I have the map completely done. But I'll do a little test right now. I'm not gonna be able to record it because I'm not gonna be able to mount my camera up right now. I'm super exhausted, it's 10 o'clock at night. Just got out of class. I'm gonna go home, I'll fool around with it a little bit and get back to you guys after this. Dude, E85 is a different beast, bro. I'm on a conservative map too from Will because it's the first map I got sent, so I'm on a conservative map, meaning it's gonna only get faster from here, which is pretty sweet. I looked at the knock in the AFR when I was doing the bunch of pulls, and it looked very good, so we can only go up from there. But I was getting wheel spin just starting in second, just like, I'm like, what the heck? That's never happened before. The car pulled so hard, and it just seemed so healthy, which is really cool. Um, I'm definitely happy about it. I'm gonna do a full review on it once I get the real map, not the real map, but once I get the finalized map, I'll do a review on the E85 opposed to 91 differences, comparisons, everything like that, the smell. <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna be the video, guys. I want you guys to like this video. Please, for me, like the video. Stick with me, guys. I got a lot of cool stuff planned. Thank you guys so much for watching. I ain't got no problem spending all of my money